healthy heart rhythmically contracts with each heartbeat, resulting in blood from the upper left chamber of the heart, called the left atrium, being squeezed out and into the bottom left chamber, called the left ventricle, and from there into the main circulation. Atrial fibrillation is an abnormal heart rhythm, characterized by rapid and irregular beating of the atria of the heart. The left atrium includes a pouch called the left atrial appendage. When a patient has atrial fibrillation, it cannot effectively squeeze blood into the left ventricle. Blood then pools in the left atrial appendage and forms a blood clot, which can cause a stroke. Strokes are the result of brain cell death, caused by the disruption of blood supply to the brain. They are a leading cause of long-term disability and death globally. People with atrial fibrillation are about five times more likely to have a stroke compared to the general population. Prevention of strokes in atrial fibrillation is usually achieved with the use of blood thinners that help prevent the clot from forming in the first place. Although blood thinners are effective, they are limited by the risk of bleeding, by physician and patient unwillingness to use, and by the need to often discontinue the treatment for a number of reasons. The left atrial appendage is easily accessible for removal during open heart surgery and has been a target of interest for stroke prevention. Since there was no definitive evidence that removing it prevents strokes, surgeons around the world led by Dr. Richard Whitlock organized the left atrial appendage occlusion study three to establish its effectiveness. The trial randomly assigned, just like flipping a coin, 4,811 patients around the world with AF undergoing heart surgery for other reasons to have their left atrial appendage closed or not. These patients were all treated in the usual manner except for this small extra procedure which only added four to six minutes to the total surgical time and was proven to be safe. Patients were prescribed blood thinners as per treatment guidelines. After almost four years of follow-up, it was observed that strokes occurred in 4.8% of participants that had the appendage closure and in 7% of those that didn't receive the procedure, demonstrating that the procedure reduced strokes by a third. The study was 100% public funded and was conducted by surgeons in 105 centres around the world. If you have AF and are scheduled to have heart surgery, Speak with your surgeon about removing or closing your left atrial appendage during the operation.